Alright guys, Liam Rubinson here for Archipelago and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to color grade your videos with Archipelago presets inside Lightroom. So Lightroom is predominantly a photo editing application, but some people don't realize it actually has some basic functionality to allow you to color grade video clips as well. Now the functionality is quite limited, it only allows you to do certain things and it doesn't allow you to cut together a video and create a final piece with transitions, titles, things like that. Um, so you can just grade the clips and get the color that you want, but if you want to put it together you will actually need an application such as iMovie, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro. But this is great if you want to color grade the video in a way that matches the photos that you might have captured at the same time. As you can see, we are here in Lightroom and I've imported a few videos I captured on a walk earlier today. Importing videos is just the same as importing photos. And once you've imported them, you'll see them right here in your library. And the way that you can tell that they're videos is just in the bottom left of each of them. You'll see a little timestamp to let you know how long that particular video is. So I've got the first video selected up at the top here and you might be tempted to go straight into develop to be able to edit your video just the same as you would with a photo. But as you'll see, if I press that, you're going to see video is not supported in develop. And this is one of the key differences in terms of functionality between photo editing in Lightroom and grading a video. So let's go back to the library and I'll show you what you need to do to be able to color grade your videos. So to begin editing, let's take a look at one of the video clips. I'm going to double click one of the thumbnails here to bring it up into full screen. We'll start with this little video of a fern leaf. And at the bottom, you'll see you've got controls to play, pause and scrub through the video. So let's just have a look at the ungraded clip and then we'll start playing around with some of the presets. So to begin editing this video, we're going to need to open the right panel of Lightroom over here. And so we're going to head up to the quick develop section here, which is going to give us all of the options to color grade the video here in Lightroom. So up at the top, we've got saved preset. This will show us all of the presets we have currently saved in Lightroom. We've then got white balance with temperature and tint options, tone control, which allows us to adjust exposure, contrast, whites, blacks, and vibrance. So these are all the tools that we have when we edit video here in Lightroom. You'll notice there's quite a bit missing, things like grain, vignetting, all of those controls which we have when we edit a photo, those aren't available to us when we edit video. We're limited to just what you see in this section here. So although we can apply a preset to a video, just the same as a photo, it won't actually apply all of the effects within that preset when we use it on a video rather than a photo. So it might not necessarily exactly match a photo that you captured at the same time, but it will get you somewhere close. Let's start by selecting the preset that we want to use on this particular clip. So we're gonna go up to where it says default settings at the top here. And when we click that, we get a drop down with all of the Archipelago presets. Now, unlike when we edit a photo and you can hover over a preset to see a preview, you won't be able to do that when you're editing a video. You will have to choose the preset in order to see what it's gonna look like. So we can come down to X-Film for instance and choose X-Film 1 and we can see that applies to the video here. It's not just limited to color as well, we can of course use black and white. So if we went down to the North Star set and chose North Star 1, you can see you can also edit in black and white. I think for this one I'm going to go for a colorful edit. I want to bring out some of those colors that we're seeing there, the last of the autumn colors that we're getting here in the UK. I'm going to reset this back to the unedited version of the video and I'll do that by going down to reset all at the bottom of the develop panel here. Okay, so let's go for Wayfarer on this. I'm going to go down to Wayfarer and I'm going to choose Wayfarer 5. So that's looking pretty good, but there's a few more things that we can do to get this to look great. And the first thing I want to do is adjust my white balance. So up at the top here, we've got the white balance section and we have controls for temperature and tint. And you'll notice there isn't a slider next to each of these like we would usually see in the develop panel of Lightroom. Instead, we have four buttons next to each of the controls. So they're quite simple. We have a double left arrow, a single left arrow, a single right arrow and a double right arrow. Uh, the ones on the right will increase um, by a small amount or a large amount. And to the left, it will decrease by a small amount or a large amount. So a little different to what we used to see in, but still quite simple. So for this, I'm going to decrease the tint a little bit to bring it across to the green side because I'm seeing a bit of purple down here in the shadows. So I'm going to press the left arrow here to bring the tint down a little bit. And let's go for a little bit more. 
Awesome. And now I want to increase the temperature to give me that warmth that I was seeing when I was out. Yep, somewhere around there, I think. So now we can move on to tone control. And the first thing I wanna do is just bring my exposure down by one notch, uh, just so we get a little bit more mood in this shot. So I'm just gonna press the left arrow here to bring the exposure down, and that looks much better. Uh, contrast, I think I'm quite happy with. I could maybe bring it down a little bit. Maybe bring a little bit more warmth in with the temperature. I'm just gonna increase the vibrance a little bit as well, just to make sure we're getting some of that lovely rich color through. Let's take a look at a preview by pressing play at the bottom. Great, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go back to the library panel by double clicking to exit out of the full screen view. So let's go ahead and edit these next two clips, but let's say we wanted to apply the same edit to these two as we had created on this first one here. There's a really quick and easy way of doing that, and that's through syncing your edits. This is just the same as if you used to syncing edits uh, for photos. All you do is select the one that you want to copy the edits from. So in this case, it's the first one. Hold down Command or Control, and click the other clips that you want to sync those edits across to. Once you've done that, you can right click, head down to develop settings and choose sync settings. We then get this synchronized settings panel, which allows us to select which edits will sync across to the other video clips. So in this case, I have everything selected except for exposure. Um, this is gonna be quite specific for each of the clips. So I'm gonna adjust that once I've applied the uh, edits from the initial clip. Uh, but what you'll see in this section actually is everything that's grayed out here is something that can't be applied to a video. So you'll notice that there's no highlights, shadows, texture, clarity, dehaze. You know, all of these tools that are in gray will only work on a photo and won't work on a video. And that's why when you apply a preset to a video, it won't quite look the same as when you apply that same preset to a photo. So I'm happy with that. We're gonna go ahead and press synchronize. And after a couple of seconds, you'll see those edits sync across to the other two videos. So we can now take a look at the second clip. And I'm just gonna adjust the exposure before we watch it. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Somewhere around there, let's just increase the vibrance so we can see a little bit more color in that leaf. And that is good to go, so let's press play. Awesome, and if we go across to the next clip where we also synchronize those edits, and that's looking pretty good straight away. Let's just bump the vibrant so we can see those lovely oranges in the leaves and press play. Awesome, so now that we've edited the video clips, I'm gonna show you how you go ahead and export them. So first select the videos that you want to export. Let's go for these three. And then we can right click, head down to export and choose export at the top here. And now we're presented with the export dialog. In here, we've got a video section and we can see we've got video format options and quality options. The default is H.264. There's a couple of other options in here and the quality you can set as max, high, medium or low. I'm going to leave that as max for now. Over on the right, you'll see that it says source and target and there's different sizes for each of these. So I imported a 4K clip. Um, this was shot on my Fuji camera, um, so 3840 by 2160. But you'll notice that the export, the target is gonna be 1920 by 1080, even though I selected max quality. And that's because Lightroom is limited to exporting at 1080. So I imported a 4K clip, but the maximum that I can export is 1080. So that's one of the limitations of color grading in Lightroom. So for these purposes, it's gonna be absolutely fine. I'm gonna go ahead and press export. And that's it, once they finish exporting, you'll have your final clips color graded with Archipelago presets. You can go ahead and put those into your editing app of choice and pull together your final video.
hope you found this video useful. We can't wait to see what you can do with Archipelago presets on your videos. Remember to share in the Archipelago Collective Facebook group, and I'll see you in the next one.